this is Yusuf at my channel, and um, probably would have gone to sleep already had I not seen something so irritating that I had to watch video after video after video after video after video. Um, <laughs> this is this is amazing. Um, The YouTube channel name is PP000610. Uh, and it's a guy who spent 29 years in the USSR, uh, lived there, uh, and then lived in the free world, and now he's walking around to all these Occupy Wall Street people. And they're all Americans that have the freedom of speech that are not starving many of them are just rich kids that don't know what they're talking about or graduate students even better who claim to be the workers everybody wants to be me <laughs> they claim to be worker a working man these people these students But it, it really isn't funny. I'm probably laughing because I don't have any sleep or I'm just going crazy and it's kind of like a half crazy laugh or something. But it really is disgusting. Uh, these people are talking about communism and, oh, capitalism is so bad and communism is the best way or socialism is the best way. And they just, they're lunatics. Um, where do Americans get the gall to tell people who were born under so under the Soviet system, oh, you had it better, it was freer. There's one lady on one of these videos that says, um, North Korea, it's a paradise, they don't, they never have starvation, uh, the workers are always insured jobs, uh, as if they don't have death camps up there. Uh, It's, uh, I mean, where, where do these people, it's actually disgusting. These people are spoiled brats. This was in the 80s. I don't think anybody would, uh, would be saying the same things because you had a live threat of ICBMs coming across, <laughs> coming across the, uh, the North Pole to kill everything in the United States. Uh, there was an arms race. And it's funny, a lot of these people are older than me. And I still remember, uh, you know, all those 80s movies and then looking up at the sky and being like, oh my God, they could come over any second now. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Um, this is just sick. I think that's one good thing of the Eastern Orthodox Church is that it kind of inoculates you against all this garbage because you can walk into an Eastern Orthodox Church and see icons of the slain people uh, by the Soviets. John of Chicago. It's John of Chicago, one of the, one of the saints of uh, North America. In the icon, it actually has him being shot by uh, the... Con or no, was it? no, he's getting beaten to death by the... Um, the Soviets by the uh, the Sailors Union or whatever it is. Um, is is communism fashionable? <laughs> I mean, not even. I mean, even when I was leaning that way and basically just I don't know, kind of using it <laughs> for the stupid people who you know I put on a Che Guevara T-shirt. Um, I don't think I'd ever have the gall to wear a Che Guevara t-shirt in front of a Cuban or, uh, stand and try to argue with somebody who was born under the Soviet system. I think I had, a, I've always had enough shame not to do that. And these people don't have shame. Uh, these, uh, again, a video where I'm just, 
not even <laughs> incoherent because uh, I haven't gotten sleep in a few days. But um, yeah, this is disgusting. There's a there's a guy walking around who was born in the USSR. And these Americans who are free, who are well fed, and many of them are, I mean, they're not, this is not the working class. These people are not going to jobs every day. How can they occupy Wall Street um, when they have to work every day? Uh, they should come out with me in the freezing cold weather uh, in the middle of winter and uh, do automatic pedestrian door repair. Why does that company work? Because we provide a service um, that is needed. And the better we do it, the more the company grows and the better our life gets. And actually, the better everything gets because uh, the service is more reliable. It's not union crap or any of that garbage. Uh, only, only a rich, only a snotty, rich, well-fed brat can uh, can seriously think that he's a communist. Even when I was talking about this, it was just full of anger and wanted to f that. You know, I don't. You know, I, I see everybody working under the ground and just anger. But uh, even when I was around the communists, I hated every single one of them. They were just rich snobs. They were they were college kids. This is disgusting. It, like, uh, permanently. Like, they'd be in college for, like, eight years with, like, sociology degrees and political science degrees going, doing nothing, going no. And they were all cowards. It doesn't, they don't, they didn't seem like they'd ever gotten into a fight in their life or any, I, this is wild. Chuck, uh, I'll, somebody remind me when I'm, uh, <laughs> after I've gotten more sleep to, uh, Put a bunch of these links of these videos uh, down in the whatever description box because this is wild. Uh, these idiots—they they, don't—I mean—they don't have shame, which I—I I think uh, is probably the one thing that separates us from you know a monkey rolling around in its feces. But you check out some of these people, and they're these these, these ragged dirty, filthy uh, white kids with the dried up hair and they're all uh, I mean, they're, they're, it looks like they just bathed in mud and they're on a city street. Um, actually, you know, I almost want to apologize to the guy on behalf of America. And, uh, well, no, he knows. He's, he's a smart guy. Uh, just walking around uh, making fools out of these uh, useful idiots. Because, see, if People like me, if the working class rose up, uh, I might survive. They wouldn't survive. I can blend into the working class. They can't. They would die. They would either be killed or they would not be able to produce, which is what communism does. It enslaves people. Um... These idiots, useful idiots. Peace to you, may God save Serbia and Syria.